some more surfing. Here's the actual surf report I've got, okay? Right, so, you've seen the surf report, but when I come here to Port Rush, it's actually, it's, it's, not, it's not what it's showing you on that, on that forecast. Now, it's, it's pretty flat, but I can see lines starting to come in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for about an hour. And the reason I'm going to wait for about an hour is because I normally make that big mistake. I've seen a couple of wee ones coming in, and then I'm in the water, and I'm in the water ages. And then by the time the good surf comes, I'm sort of half tired and I'm getting cold, so I have to get out when it's starting to pump. So it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. So, what I'm going to do now is just get the board out. And I'll show you what I do with the board. Before we start, that's what I always do, is get wax on the board. Basically it's just help you to stick to the board when you're out there. Yes, yeah, so we can see the black on my board, that's wax and marks my wetsuit and stuff. So it's important, it's important to get the wet, that, that, that wax slide, because if you don't, uh, you won't slide out of the board. So sometimes it doesn't take actually very much, and other times it just depends. Today I'm going to put a good bit on. <laughs> This is the one I come out. Right guys, it's not it's not overly good out there, but there is a few big ones coming in now and again, time to time. So I'm just gonna go out and enjoy it, catch a few and just mess about. So tomorrow if I'm up again and it, and it's bigger, then take the camera out woman. Just no point at the minute. So it's time for me to go to it. So you got all your kit and all on, right? A wee thing to do now. What I know about surfing, you could write in the back of a stump. <laughs> but I'm picking this up off other guys, and other guys tell them, guys that know what they're doing. If we go down onto the beach, just stand and watch the waves for a while. Watch where they're breaking, watch what they're doing, and watch where everybody else is surfing. Just watch what's going on, and uh, it gives you a picture of maybe what areas to miss, maybe where there's rips and stuff like that. You gotta look all, all out for, you know, rip tides and fucking all stuff like that. Uh, so Google about riptides and how to get out of them. If you get caught in a riptide, don't try and swim against it. Swim across it, get out of it, and then swim ashore. And use the waves to your advantage. You know, paddle like mad when you're on a wave. So, watch the water well. That's what I'm doing now when I'm gone to I'm going to get hammered. Right, what do you see how hard it is getting out through this shit? Some big fucking waves. <laughs> big, big waves. <laughs> Big out here today. Just want to see someone here.
This is the difficult bit. Get nice to the surf. taking hammer and after hammer and after hammer <laughs> it's just it's fucking it's hard to work out S some of the days I went in there I, I couldn't do any video and after that the video that you've just seen there because my GoPro has it's just not working uh, the camera's not coming on on it anymore so my GoPro has seen better days yeah. But not only that, but before, when I, when I actually left that back of the car, that, that's what I used there, and I'm holding it in my mouth. And for me to go out in that bigger, in that bigger surf, there's no way I was holding that in my mouth, because the chances are I would have lost it, or I'd have ripped my teeth out. And I, I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I say that earlier. But, uh, fucking, this board, it's a, it's a bollocks to get the hang off. The surfboard, it was getting near every wave that I went on and I can move about on it uh, but now I've went this board with a less volume <laughs> and shorter it's it's just hard I'm telling what's been happening all right <sighs> right in, in the in, in the bigger swell here in the east strand right it's coming in and the waves coming along right and then next minute it's just set up really really high now I got my confidence knocked out because I was paddling like the billy I got to the top of it and then I went. But but it was it was like way it curved over if you get what I mean and there was just nothing underneath me. I just fucking fell down off the off the wave sort of thing and that's just what put me off and just poof, an absolute hammer off a wipeout. And I had a few of them. And I don't I'm trying to think <sighs> This is hard for me to explain. When I'm watching other servers, they're near taking off right at the top of the wave as well. And, and like every time I go to do that at the top of the wave, even, I, I just feel like I'm just falling away. It's just, some of the guys says when I go way, way up and the back of the board comes up, I need to lift my chest up more. <laughs> but, right, the wipeouts have, have put the fear of God into my head, if I'll be quite honest, right? But, Every time I'm coming to that point and going to push up, I'm just, I'm just, I think I'm bottling it out. Maybe, the other, the other thing I think what I'm doing too is, maybe hitting the wave wrong at the wrong time. And maybe I'm hitting it when it's up too much because it's coming down and I'm slap bang right in the middle of it. And the bastard's up like this. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'd like to actually have somebody that can surf come out with me and then tell me to sort of like go hit that wave or, or you're doing that wrong at the top lean more. Now I spoke to a surfer guy today, he was a, a real decent spot and it's time I haven't got a wave all day. And he looked at me like I was a bit of a fucking idiot. Which <laughs> I don't blame him, I am right. But he, he was saying, when I told him it's a new board and he says, well it's a fucking short board and I told him how much volume in it, it's 40. 42 volume so it's it's like half of what I'm used to, to you know taking off it and it's shorter and it's narrower and and he was saying look it's just going to take you a lot of time to get to get used to the board and then he was saying about the east strand and the way they set up and they come down heavy on you he says you know it, it, it was pretty hard and he was saying that the west strand was a bit more forgiving I don't I don't know why but <laughs> 
the guy could surf like a fucking genius. So I'm not going to argue with what he was telling me. So I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Today I was out today again. And uh, I got a couple away towards the end. But today again they were big. I kept getting a lot of wipeouts again. Or getting to the top of the wave and then. I was sort of coming back off it because it just felt that it was going right over again. Maybe that's me bottling it, right? And that's what that other surfer guy says. You have to totally commit at the top. We'll say I'm just going to try and have to keep working it and get a bit of confidence back. I, uh, on one of them earlier the days, like my lord, and it fucking hit my elbow. Like my elbow's still really fucking sore. And it just put me like, there's no doubt off these bigger waves that. You could definitely get bodily hurt, like. I'm fucking learning a lot here. It's like, treat it well, a lot more respect. Uh, I'm not worried about getting washed around in it now anymore. I'm fucking getting used to that feeling of being buried under the water and getting dragged about. It's just a matter of how your breath do you come up. Uh, so that's falling off them waves. Uh, I probably making these sound like monstrous waves, but they're... They're, what were the seven, eight foot and stuff there? Like, for me, that, that there's the biggest stuff I was surfing. But some of them came in and there were, there were twice that. Some of them were fucking massive coming in. They were uh, easy two or three times bigger than me. Now, that, that wasn't every time, but it's every now and again. And they're just, they're just fucking... All I say, respect these guys that surfing big waves. Total respect. So that's my wee video. My GoPro's bust, so I'm not going to get video on any more stuff in the water for a bit. But I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to keep trying. And I'll maybe just give you an update through my iPod how I'm getting on. So I'm going back around tomorrow again. And, well, I'll see what I can do. So thanks for staying tuned. I hope you enjoyed that. And hopefully, hopefully, you'll see my progress in the surfing.